Hi, I'm Annika Neumeyer, and I'm here interviewing Jordan Axe. Coach Axe is the new head girls basketball coach. So why did you decide to become a coach at Valley View? Basketball, I've been coaching for a long time. Uh, it's always been the guys' uh, side. So over 10 years coaching guys. And uh, last year I decided uh, just on a whim, uh, girls' program needed a frost coach. And so I figured I'd come in the mornings and, uh, and, and work them out for about an hour, hour and a half, play some games and have some fun with it. And I actually found that I enjoyed the girls' game a lot. Uh, combination of the personalities of, of the youth that we have but also just the X's and O's of the girls' game really uh, intrigued me. And so when the job opened up, uh, I decided that I wanted to, wanted to take that challenge on just to see where it would take me. So, Okay, so knowing how both like genders play, how does the game differ from like a girl's side to a boy's side? I think with the girls, it's more, uh, it's more technical. It's, it's more uh, game script. Um, X's and O's than it is with guys. A lot of times they'll go, you know, to the rec center or wherever, and they'll just play. Girls, there's a different value system, and if you can get a team to play for each other, then they'll do anything for you. But with that, you can't just give it, give the ball to one player and let them go. It's got to be, you know, there's schemes. There's, there's just a way to make the entire group all make each other better that's that's really interesting to me and so that's that's kind of where where I'm at right now is trying to get them to all work together identify certain skill sets but really just bringing it all home okay have you played basketball before I have I played uh, three years varsity in high school uh, opted to not go to a junior college uh, for basketball I got essentially just right into coaching do you hope to apply anything you've learned from your experience of coaching before or playing basketball before to this new position? I've been pretty well prepared under Coach Lundgren over the last uh, two, two years. My experience before Lundgren was also great, but the last two years and what we've been able to experience together really springs me into this season. Um, there are certain expectations that we have as far as, you know, competing level, going to state is obviously uh, one of those goals that you just always have to have and the expectation that we need here at Valley View. What style of coaching can we expect from you this season? I'm big on up-tempo stuff. Um, pace uh, is so important in the in the girls' game, in every game. When when you take long possessions, it's tough. It's really tough for the fans to get engaged. But when you play fast, and even though it may look ugly at times, especially at the beginning, when you play fast and you're pressing and you're up and down and you've got really good spacing and you're getting open shots and driving lanes, the fans really get into that. And that's what brings them back. And so when we can create that excitement on the court, then it's good for everyone. Okay, and with this style of coaching, what do you hope to accomplish with the teams this season? Each season, there's going to be different goals. This season, we have the challenge of taking our youth and not forcing uh, the issue, but continuing to build their confidence, but also maximizing uh, our, our seniors this year and, and a couple juniors. So being able to maximize, you know, senior year and bring up the youth that we have, we have a lot of youth that's coming in, is going to be a huge challenge for our coaching staff, but one that I'm excited for. With the variety of the youth, what do you think is the most important thing when it comes to being on a team with everyone having different levels of experience and stuff? The most important thing is, um, is really enthusiasm, I think. And that enthusiasm comes in many different forms, whether it's enthusiasm for the game or just enthusiasm for playing with each other and playing for each other. If you can bring that little excitement, kind of build that lightning in a bottle type of mentality, and you can start to actually come together as a team, that's, that's where it's at. And that's how you continue to build a culture and a program. Okay. And what are you looking forward to the most this season? getting started <laughs> <laughs> and what are you most nervous for getting started okay what like 
challenges do you think will come with like being the new coach and like this new level of authority? The biggest challenge uh, will be to continue to build that value system within the program. You know, it's been it's been a couple of years since people have really gotten excited for uh, Valley View girls basketball for whatever reason. And uh, we've done a good job up to this point building that excitement, but retaining that excitement and that belief, that'll be the biggest challenge. Okay. What is one thing you want any athletes that could come try out to know about you as the new coach? I'll give it to you straight. Um, it's all it's all business when it comes to basketball. Um, we get in the gym. It's quick. It's loud. It's exciting. And then I send you off. You know, um, it's one of those things where I don't want it to be a grind for you. I want you. I want the basketball court needs to be a safe haven. It needs to be an outlet for you. Um, you guys have enough going on. Most of you guys work. You guys have school. You guys have a lot of things going on. When you step on the court, it needs to be the place that you can, con that's, that's where you need to be, and that's your outlet for life. So if we can accomplish that, we're, we're on the right track. Since you have a past experience with Valley View, who are the players that we should be watching this season? Well, we've got a uh, return varsity player, Jasmine Bowles. Uh, she'll she'll kind of – she has the most experience. She'll kind of lead as we go. Um, it'll be, you know, a different style of play that she's used to. Um, and so it'll be interesting to see how she, how she incorporates with the youth. Um, there's a ton of – we have we've got like 12 soccer players on the team. So we just have a lot of speed – um, and a lot of, you know, girls that don't have that experience but understand angles and know how to do that. So, uh, like Faith Hodge, I think she'll be dynamite on the defensive end and she'll continue to get better. Uh, Daisha Keister, she's, she's going to end up uh, being uh, one heck of a player. Um, her shot's really coming along and she's got very good vision. So there's a lot of different pieces that we have. Um, Angie Martinez is coming back. Uh, she's... She's she's also got a lot of experience, and then uh, Jaden Roten, um, that's another senior that didn't play last year, uh, but she's coming out this year, and I think she's going to be uh, that leader we're looking for to really bridge the gap between our youth and then our our senior class. Speaking of players, do you think that the coaches can affect the players in like a positive or negative way? Uh, definitely. If if the coaches don't believe. Then, then the players won't. Um, one of the biggest, uh, I guess, obstacles, not even an obstacle, but when I knew I wanted this job was I need a dynamite coaching staff. And I've put that into play. You know, we have eight total coaches that are all bought in, that put in time on the court, off the court, um, fundraising, events. We're, we're just like a community. And so when you have a coaching staff that has that much excitement, it just naturally uh, really rubs off on the girls. And, you know, if you're putting in minimal work as a coaching staff, then the players will mirror that. So as long as the coaching staff, we're um, putting in more time and working harder than the players, then the players will see that and they'll, they'll, mirror, they'll match that, I believe. Okay, thank you for coming and for your time. This is Jordan Axe, the new head girls basketball coach. Now back to the game.